Hey everybody, it's the Doll Boy, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're taking a look at the Rainbow High Fashion Studio. MGA Entertainment reached out to me again and sent me this really special package to review, which was this stunning Avery Styles doll. This is a new Rainbow High set, and it's called the Fashion Studio. You can see the Avery Styles doll displayed in the box, and she comes with a bunch of outfits for her to wear in a lot of different colors. There are also some extra shoes included, and a brand new hairstyle. That's because this doll does come wearing a wig, and I'm really curious to play with those, because at first glance, this really looks like her actual hair, which I'm so impressed with. Because usually, I don't think doll wigs look this amazing. The back of the box for this doll is very different from the boxes we've seen so far, which is really exciting, since we've seen that box a lot by now. This one says Rainbow High Fashion Studio on the side in gold. It shows you a gorgeous artwork of Avery, with some art of the included fashion pieces as well, and on the bottom it says mix and match to create 300 plus looks. And it shows you some suggestions for these combinations as well. The first one is the look she's wearing in the box, and then you have this pink look, this red top and jeans, and this purple look with the rainbow boots. One thing I think is very interesting is that in her artwork the pink hair does have the bangs, but for the purple look she's wearing her hair in a side part. We have already seen Avery Styles in the first episode of the animated series, where she's also seen wearing a side part. In the commercial for this doll though, the animation does include the bangs. And for the doll, both of the wigs include the bangs. So I'm really curious to find out if we're gonna see a webisode where Avery is gonna wear that pink look as well. And now, let's take all of this out of the box. For this, I start by cutting open the tape around the top of the box. That allows you to slide out the cardboard background that holds the doll and her fashion studio. For that second wig, you can pull out that extra box, just like the boxes that display the second outfit for the regular dolls. Behind that compartment, you can find her doll stand. That's this solid gold color. In case you're afraid you're gonna miss some items from the box, all the things that this box should include are listed on the side which is one doll, two wigs, 12 fashion pieces, four pairs of shoes, nine hangers, five hairpins, four shoe boxes, one comb, one doll stand, and one clothing rack. Whew! Which is a lot. I did see that this doll now is available in the Netherlands too, on ball.com, where she retails for 55 euros. And to be honest, for a doll that includes this many pieces and two very good looking wigs, I think this is a very good deal and a really fair price point. So if you're Dutch and you're interested in this doll after watching my review, you know where to go. This doll also comes with some instructions, which again lists the content and explains how the hairstyles work. The doll's wig is attached to the head with a pack that matches up with a hole in her head, but the hair can be carefully removed. Here you also have an image, which looks quite similar to the system of Ruby's cap. There's also some information on how you can use the doll stand and the clothing rack as well, which can be pulled out to be extended and the shoes can be stored on the bottom shelf. And it has functioning wheels. With my other Rainbow High reviews, I usually like to take a look at the outfits first, but because this is such a special package and I want to model Avery in some different outfits, 
I'm gonna go ahead and unbox her first, so I can restyle her wigs for the big fashion show. And that's our doll unboxed. As you might be able to tell, I'm very excited about this doll right away. Because out of the box, she's so stunning already. Her hair is quite messy from the box, and her front pieces are heavily gelled. But overall, the hair feels really good, and it looks so realistic, considering this is a wig you can actually take off. When you pull her hair back, you can see the construction of this wig, and you can carefully remove the wig from the head. This reveals Avery's pink short pixie cut. I really love this style too, and I appreciate how much detail they put in this short hairstyle too. Then on the back, you can see that hole that the wig bag goes in to make the wig stay on her head. Then let's unbox that second wig too. This comes in the same box as that golden comb and the rainbow colored hair clips. The second wig comes displayed on this gold mannequin head. My wig was displayed off to the side, which made the bangs look kinda funny, but after positioning it correctly and washing the product out, that'll be perfectly fine. The plastic mannequin is made of a thin plastic material, but I am planning on keeping this to make an actual wig stand out of this piece because I really love the way it allows you to display your wigs. The pink wig also has some hair product in it, and it's held in place with this plastic strip that's sewn in the hair. So I just cut the beginning of that strip open, and then carefully pull that apart to remove it from the hair. After removing that plastic piece, you've got this gorgeous wig to try out on your doll. For this, you want to line up the back in the wig with the hole in her head. And this honestly really secures that wig so well. I absolutely love this wig on her too, and I really appreciate that the bangs are quite long, so you can cut or style them to your liking. As you can see, Right off the box, this wig is a little messy, so before trying out those outfits, let's give these wigs a little wash. For this, I simply take a wig without the doll and start wetting the hair. As you can see, there is stencil in these wigs, so I'm really careful with this because I don't want to ruin the entire wig. In these clips, you'll see me using a big brush and a fine tooth comb while washing these wigs, but I do really recommend using that brush that comes with these dolls, since those bristles are a lot easier on the hair. So with those combs, I experience no damage on the tinsel at all. To wash these wigs, I simply wet the hair to loosen up the gel in the hair. Then when I feel like most of the product is out, I start brushing the hair. Then I wet the hair again, to really get that gel out. I take some hair conditioner and massage that in the hair, and then brush this through the hair to evenly spread it out, before rinsing it out with cold water again. After that, I wrapped her hair around these curlers to give it some wave, and wrapped a strip of fabric around the bangs to make sure they would dry laying down. One thing I did notice is that the tinsel in this hair does not always take the curl as well as the regular hair. Which is why I wanted these curls to drop a little, to create this really nice and natural look. I feel like Avery is definitely ready to take a look at all these outfits, so let's remove those from the box as well. I am being very careful with the rainbow background, because I'm trying to keep this as well for some doll pictures. As mentioned in the instructions, the wheels on this clothing rack really rotate, which I think is such a fun feature. Then on the bottom, there's this shelf that can be removed, 
where you can store the shoes and you can also extend the rack so you can add the clothing hangers and outfits from your other Rainbow High dolls, which is very cool. And now let's take a look at all of the pieces she comes with. Avery comes with this purple skirt that has these ribbons hanging down, some black zipper detail and the skirt is made of a very soft and silky fabric. This is a really nice match with the purple and pink t-shirt that says don't call me doll. I am a big fan of these casual t-shirts with that different color trim on the collar and sleeves and it would look really nice with that purple skirt on Avery wearing her purple wig or on Violet Willow too. I'm also a very big fan of this next top. This actually is a two-piece with this red bralette that has a leopard print, says sparkle on the bottom and velcros in the back. This piece has some clear straps as well to help it stay in place. It was layered on top of this white crop top with red trimming that says sparkle. As much as I love these pieces, I don't think I'd see it on Avery but obviously it works really well on Ruby. Then the other top is this white top with an orange color that says Anti-Sparkle Sparkle Club in gold letters just like Jade's original top. Once again I'm not sure if I'll use this on Avery a lot but it is a very cute piece for Poppy. And yes, I will do an unboxing video for her very soon too. So if you want to get notified when I post that video, subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. Avery also comes with this pink sweater that velcros in the back with a fake hood that also velcros in the back, which makes redressing the doll a lot easier. This sweater has some white polka dots, a sparkle detail and has real pockets. This piece will look absolutely great on Avery wearing either that purple or the pink wig. She also comes with a really simple but cute glittery dress. This dress is bright pink and is covered in sequins. It's made very nicely with several layers of fabric. I really like that they included this dress since we have seen a lot of t-shirts in this set so it's really nice to have a dress to add some variety to the fashion studio. We've also got this very cute light yellow pleated skirt with some rainbow suspenders which is a really cute schoolgirl piece that's gonna be very nice to combine with some casual t-shirts and it will look great on both Avery and of course Sunny. If you want to see a tutorial on this hairstyle and a more in-depth look on how I removed her bangs, comment down below so I can make a video for that as well. One of my favorite items in this set are these blue denim jeans. It does have that same design as Ruby's red pants, but in silver. The stitching for these pants is brown, which gives it a very realistic look. I'm so excited about this piece because I was definitely missing some more toned down jeans in my rainbow high wardrobe. And then I definitely saved the best for last because this set also comes with this incredible rainbow sequins bomber jacket that has this zipper detail and black elastic bands around the top, bottom and the sleeves. The sequins go all the way to the back and they are in these dark rainbow colors. I already know that this jacket is going to be so much fun to style with all the different outfits. What I also really loved is that they included this jacket in the second episode of the animated series and I'm really curious if we're going to see more of this fashion studio in the upcoming episodes since they are supposed to create a fashion show for their assignment. But all of these outfits aren't even all. For the shoes, 
Avery comes with the shoe boxes that open and close really well. The first pair of shoes are these really dark blue holographic heels with white straps that have stars in a bunch of different rainbow colors. And the bottom of the shoes are bright pink. The second pair of shoes are black and purple with heels that have stars and moons in yellow that are quite similar to Sunny's heels. Then we have one empty box with an image of shoes so you can put your own accessories or shoes in there. I really like it that they added this extra box because these are great for small accessories like earrings or even the t-shirts in this set. The final shoe box is a lot bigger and holds these epic knee-high rainbow boots that say rainbow on one side and has a really nice zipper detail on the other side. There's this really cool color transition to them, creating the full rainbow all together. On the top of the foot, it spells out rainbow in golden letters. Overall with this set, the quality of all these pieces is so incredible and they look and feel so nice. Now let's go back to the doll since we haven't even taken a look at the first outfit she is wearing. Avery comes in this silver strapless dress with rainbow threads that has a faux zipper detail in the front and a non-removable buckle which creates a really cool outfit. If you remove that, you can see that she's wearing a black crop top that says rainbow in golden letters and there's a rainbow stripe underneath. The shoes she's wearing are these white sock boots that say rainbow on the front and have these really cool rainbow soles with a silver zipper detail on the sides. Once again, the amount of detail in these is mind-blowing. And then we have that second wig that I also put in rollers for a nice wave. The outfit I dressed her in is that same black top, sequins jacket and blue jeans. For this look I did go for a more casual outfit because that pink hair is already quite out there. As you can see, the tinsel once again did not curl along with the hair, which is why for that purple wig I preferred it when the curls dropped a little bit. For those of you who really dislike tinsel in your doll's hair, but are interested in this doll, I went ahead to try if you can remove the tinsel from these wigs, and the answer is yes. Removing the tinsel leaves your wig very nice and clean, but does also remove that sparkle effect and the extra colors in the hair. As you might be able to see, wherever there's tinsel, you can see two of the tinsel strands in one hole. What you want to do is simply pull on one end and when that breaks off, you can take the other side and pull that out as well, without damaging any of the other hair. You do want to be really careful and make sure you only pull on the tinsel to avoid pulling out regular strands in the process. After doing that all over the wig, you'll still have a really nice and purple full head of hair for your Avery Styles doll. I really love this doll and all the items she comes with and I really hope you loved it too. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more doll videos. Also comment down below which outfit combination was your favorite. If you want to see more looks I create with this fashion studio on both Avery and my other Rainbow High dolls, make sure to follow me on Instagram as well, at the doll boy. See you next time!